<laughs> Look at that smile. Is this where Opie wanted to go? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Some pretty big waves out there. Good morning, everyone. From the Oregon coast, it's a lovely, balmy 75 degrees. Here we are. Back to the drawing board. There's a cave up here. Yes, so let me explain before anybody gets super disappointed with me. Let's actually go into this cave. Okay. Whoa. I don't know if the cave's gonna work. It's super windy in here. I'm gonna try my best though. The biggest thing is that I wanna talk about is the fact that life is all about the journey and not the destination. I made a very big mistake of getting carried away and thinking that I had found the destination. Okay, wrong. Muji actually warns me that anyone seeking liberation or freedom from self or external conditions is going to be met with the darkness, the, the forces of, of the negative polarity. And I will tell you that I wish I would have listened to him and taken heed to that more. Because the more free that I've seen that I get, it's almost like the more the more shadow I have to search through and, and divulge within my own unconsciousness. So I will tell you that I just got a big piece of humble pie, okay? The universe served up a big dish and was like, you know what, nothing is what it seems and anything that you think you know, you just don't. Um, and yeah, you need to go back to the drawing board and figure out what you really want because you're not happy. So today, we are going back to the drawing board and we are asking one of my closest allies, I shall say, um, the spirit in the form of a rock. I know, baby. He's pretty cool. <laughs> my dogs love other dogs <laughs> so much. But anyway, that's not what we're here for, you guys. We have business. We came here to connect with this amazing rock. Um, this is kind of like an ancient legend of a native tribe. A little girl went into the ocean and it's, it's a story about knowing the power of nature and knowing what it can do to you. And as you can see, it's almost like she's still frozen in time looking up at, you know, the heavens, up at the sky and and it's it's very powerful. As you can see, I'm just standing here and there's a mysticism, a, a very strong energy here. You guys are following me. I've been focusing a lot on this off-grid thing and a lot of a lot of me, a lot, a big part of me didn't realize how deep this stuff goes of what it takes to really, you know, do the work on all levels, knowing how to channel the land, knowing how to connect with Gaia in a way that is healthy. You see, I was recently working on a project, a work trade where I was very deep, deep in this forest that had many levels of energies, uh, layers of past, of negative situations like massacre and bloodshed. And I didn't realize how dark it had taken me. I was going in down a dark road that I was unfamiliar with, you know? This was a very deep, soul tran transitional lesson for me was knowing that just because you choose a land doesn't mean that it's choosing you and if it is choosing you you better be ready to do 
all of the work, you know, on a, on a deep level. And I was somewhat unprepared and perplexed by how much it was asking of me to, to be in that forest. He's like drawing me over here. What do you want to look at? Oh, you want to go back to the cave? Okay. So, um, <laughs> Rupi is just going wild. What did you want to see over here? We are just over here. So, as I was saying, I think we're supposed to go back to the cave because we're we're doing the, the deep talk. I just want to be in alignment with what the earth actually really wants of me and is asking of me. And at this time, it's to continue to be a true nomad, to focus on the adventures that heal my soul and, you know, not to get stagnant, to continue to be flexible and shift and also focus on what truly brings joy into you know life so for me right now it's like it's gonna be a lot of moments by the ocean and rock climbing and connecting with other parts of the land but life goes on and we got to pivot quick we got to make those those shifts quickly and be dynamic and give thanks for all of the lessons that we do learn Things have gotten a lot better for me in the past few days once I focused on gratitude. 